is Wajipa Chongwe and um, I'm a visual artist and I'm also a singer and performer. Why do I do what I do? I do what I do because I really need to do what I do. Um, I've tried different professions but um, being a visual artist is who I am. I need to express um, how I feel about the world, how I feel about myself and this is the best way that I find possible to do that. The mediums that I use when I'm working are um, ink. Um, initially I just used black ink and now I'm using a lot more colour. I use textures and I also work in pastels and my work is very um, abstract. Um, it's, it's images that um, sometimes flash through my mind's eye or um, generally most of the time I really have no idea what I'm creating until it starts manifesting on um, the piece of paper. My background is my father is from Zambia and my mother is from Australia and I was born in Zambia and when I turned 18 I went to live in Australia and I lived in Australia for 27 years and have just recently moved to Amsterdam. Um, a real life situation that has inspired me um, was when I was visiting my mother-in-law in France this was three years ago and we were talking about the Black Madonna and um, so we went to Rakamadu where they actually have a, um, a temple and I saw images of the Black Madonna and what struck me was that um, I really didn't you know, I didn't like the way she was portrayed, you know, the statues, I didn't find that they were very beautiful. So when I went back to Australia, I did a series which were based on the Black Madonna and the concept of colour and religion. And what I found when I actually did that, because I was really trying to look at, you know, where symbolism has taken religion, but out of, with, with the drawings, the biggest uh, message that I got through was the power of the Divine Feminine, which has no colour, it has no symbol. It really is the energetic um, combination of that feminine energy. So that was, you know, a real life situation and inspiration for those particular works. Um, the memorable responses I've had with my work was um, one particular piece which is an image of three women with a heart behind them. That seems to um, have a lot of associations for people. Um, in fact, when I was creating that work, I was actually um, thinking about a short story which was based around the friendship of women and three is an integral number in my life. I have three children, things seem to work in threes. So um, when I did that, I was really focusing on that kind of relationship that women, that girls have. And that seems to be a piece that a lot of people um, have a familiarity with. What I dislike about the art world um, is I guess the competition, you know, the, the idea that there's not enough room for everyone. So, you know, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, we have to compete. That's what I really despise and I'm, I'm not a competitive person. I never have been a competitive person. So the process of art has really been for me trying to create something that doesn't get drawn into that whole competitive area um, and also um, what I don't like about the art world is there seems to be a sense that um, there's only one way to do things so you know my dream and hope is to um, is to inspire people to feel that they can do whatever they need to do whatever they want to do and stay true and integral to themselves in creating whatever they want to create and not buying into an image of how things should be. What I like about my work is um, the capacity 
for it to reach a lot of people. Um, I print a lot of my work because I wanted to produce work that is affordable to a lot of people so by printing my work it makes it more affordable. Um, I just, I hope that um, my work, you know, through my work I can inspire people and help people on a journey of self-discovery. I feel my work's not that complicated so, um, you know, there are some complexities in it but it's not that complicated. It has a sophistication that I don't feel is out of reach, you know, because really my art is being produced for people to share, for people to enjoy. Um, what makes me angry is the competitiveness of the industry that I'm in, and that's the arts in general. Um, the lack of openness, the lack of opportunities, you know, the lack of opportunities for women in arts, women of colour, women from the African diaspora. You know, the, the art world is very clicky. Um, as a woman of colour, there's a perception that we have to produce only one, a particular style of art. So what frustrates me is not being able to be viewed as more than this singular person that should be doing something which um, represents their heritage rather than their experiences or their diversity. Love. What wouldn't I do without I wouldn't do without love. Yes. <laughs>